I didn't really become aware of uh, zoophilia until much later in my life. I should say, when Miles and I moved into my room together, it became a little more intimate. The first time that I actually decided to take my clothes off and feel his fur next to my bare skin was pretty surprising. I was uh, mm, very curious there for a while how so many of us don't take our clothes off to allow our bodies to feel, our whole bodies to feel a uh, direct connection with our animals. And I, that was one of the first things that I did, was I just stripped and, and got down on my, uh, and laid down on my bed and had Miles come up and the two of us just laid down and took a nap together. And I remember waking and I had my arms around him and his paws were up on my shoulder and we were nose to nose. And, you know, I woke up and he gave me a look on my nose and it was just like a regular relationship. <laughs> just feeling the comfort of his warm, body next to mine and and uh it just never felt like anything was wrong with that it always felt really natural to me sarah was 36 when her husband began to suspect her relationship with miles the family dog he decided to have miles castrated well i would say that the act of castrating miles was one of the nails in the coffin, but the threat to have him euthanized if he found out I was having anything to do with him that way um, was absolutely the last nail in the coffin of my marriage. She talks about how uh, she also has a small pony, uh, but she hasn't started, you know, doing anything with it. Oh, she wants so to young. cheat on the dog with well, the pony. Oh.